Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Kingdom Talk with Michelle. And for all the newcomers, please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Hallelujah. God has been so good to us, you know, and he said every morning our mercies are renewed and he promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to share an important topic with you guys. Hallelujah. How do you know God's will for your life? Hallelujah. And the scripture that I'll be using is Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he said, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. A plan to prosper you, not to arm you. A plan to give you a hope and a future. So he's saying that the plans that he have in store for you is not to arm you, but to give you a hope and a future. So, my brothers and sisters, there's a path. And the path is the wonderful map. The wonderful map is called the Bible. So God, our Heavenly Father, has an incredible plan for our life. And he has given you a wonderful map, the Bible. The guide of your path. But you have to read it. You have to learn it. And apply it to your life. It is, it is God's responsibility to make sure we get his plan. It is our responsibility to communicate with him often. But communicating with him means more than just talking with him. We got to listen to. Very important. So God used other ways to show us his will. He works through our thoughts, our interests, our spiritual leaders, our gifts. God has given you a specific gifts and ability to use for his glory. So use them. So what he's saying here is God's responsibility to make sure we get his will. But he's also saying here that he used his ways to show us his will. So, through our gifts, ability, and he's saying that we should use them for his glory. Wow. So, what we need to understand here, it is important to remember that God will not simply mean what is your career will be, or whom you will marry, or where you would live. Those things are only a part of his will. His plan for you included the thing that is going on right now. So it's what is happening right now in your life, that very moment. So instead of asking God, what you want me to do in five years, ask him right now, help me. To be all you want me to be. What is your will for me today? So instead of you asking God. Ask God. What do you want me to do? Instead of. You asking him. What you want me to do in five years from now. You understand what I mean? So yes. Yes. It is very important that we listen to the will of God. Very important that we listen. When he speak, we listen. Very careful. Because based on what the passage is saying here, that you learn it, you apply it. So it's not all about reading. You have to apply it. The word of God to your life. Hallelujah. What a powerful, powerful God we serve. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As 1 Kings 22 verse 5. And he said, first seek the 
counsel of the Lord. Very important, my brothers and sisters, because sometimes we make decisions on our own and it can be a bad thing. So he's saying here, first seek the counsel of the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalms 40 verse 8 and it says, I desire to do your will, O Lord. Your law is within my heart. So, if you are struggling today and you are wondering, how do I know the will of God for my life? Just take up that wonderful mark, which is the Bible. And every time you forget, you just read Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Not to arm you, but to give you a hope and a future. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. As Proverbs 3 verse 6 say, In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. So everything that you are doing, step by step, he's saying that, acknowledge me, acknowledge me. Everything that you're doing, acknowledge me, and I will direct your path. Very important, because sometimes we do our own thing, and it can cause debt. So, if you want to know the will of God for your life, just take up that wonderful map, which is the Bible, and you will read through it. Glory to God. But as I said, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, be your motto. For I know the plans. Everything that God has in store for me, is to prosper, not to arm me, but to give me a hope and a future. What a mighty God. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Strength when the days are dreary, strength when I'm cold and weary, Lord, give me strength that I can face another day. And when I'm tempted and your will is not my will, give me strength. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 3 and he said, come, let us go up in the mountain of the Lord to the house of God of Jacob. He will teach us his way so that we may walk in his path. Mighty God, what a powerful God we serve. Glory to God. I love him so much. He's so good to me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Strength. When his will is not your will, ask God to give you strength. Strength so that you can go on. When his will is not your will, give him strength. But remember, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Let that scripture be a motto to you. I know the plans I have for you. God, whatever God has in store for us is good. And that is why he's saying, seek my will. So you need to ask God, Lord, what is your will? What is your will? Because sometimes it's our will. But Lord, what is your will? So he's saying here today, my will. He said, he said, my will. His will is the best will. So we need to understand here that it's not about us because sometimes we make some bad decisions. 
real bad one and it can cause death. But he's reminding us today that we should take up this wonderful map, which is the Bible. Glory to God. And as Romans chapter 12, verse 2 say, do not conform no longer to this pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what is the will of God, what is good and please and perfect will of God. He's saying to us today, you have to renew your mind. Hallelujah. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So if you are struggling today, hallelujah, wondering what is God's will for me or what is the will of God for my life, just read Jeremiah 29 verse 11. And there's another powerful one here. Glory to God. God is so good. He's so good to us hallelujah glory to god he said for your ways for, he said, sorry for your thoughts are not my thoughts nor your ways my ways declares the lord as i as the heavens are higher than the earth so are your ways higher than my ways and your thoughts than my thoughts so he's saying that his thoughts is totally different from us. Whatever he have in store for us is to prosper us, to give us a hope and a future, not to arm us, not to put us in distress. So he's saying to us today, take up that wonderful map, which is the Bible, communicate with me, apply it to your life, read it, and listen. Glory to God. The Lord bless you all. I pray that everyone that come in contact with this video, I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever it is, I pray that the Holy Spirit of the living God will rest upon you. Hallelujah. And whatever is on your mind, I pray that God will clear your mind. He will renew your mind. He will touch your mind. Hallelujah. Anyone that is sick, that come in contact with this video, I pray God that you will heal them. You will deliver them. You will set them free in the name of Jesus because he said healing is the children bread. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, Lord. Let this, let this, oh, glory to God. Let this video be a blessing to each and every one that watch it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is about to do something. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just believe. And once you believe, you will receive in the name of Jesus. I command healing in the name of Jesus. Whatever is bound in your life will be loose in the name of Jesus. Because God's plan for you is to give you a hope and a future not to harm you. Hallelujah. Whatever is on your mind. Whatever distress. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, I pray that somebody, oh, glory to God, somebody will be delivered in the name of Jesus because your will, your will, your will, hallelujah, is to prosper, to give us a hope and a future. The Lord bless you all, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, glory, glory, Hallelujah, Jesus.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. I feel the shaking in the spirit. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Touch your people. Deliver and set free. The Lord bless you all. And remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. And remember, hallelujah, that the plans that He has for you is to give you a hope and a future. The Lord bless you all. Hallelujah.